You're currently looking at the state of my CAN bus reverse engineering project with a Peugeot system. So as you can see, the cluster's just turned on. That's because I'm playing a recorded session. And you can see the display is actually displaying the same information here as the cluster is. This is a display that I've programmed myself and told it to behave in the same way as the car's display. So you can see here, for instance, we have the RPM, which is being displayed here, with actually a higher precision than the dial. Um, the dial's sort of a bit, you know, it's roughly 1,000 RPMs, whereas this will tell you exactly how many RPMs it is. Um, then we've got speed. Then we have oil temperature, fuel level, and coolant temperature. And these are all fully operational. Everything on this display currently works. So I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to skip a bit on the cluster's information so you can see some more interesting things happening. One thing I should point out is occasionally you see glitches like this flashing or the fuel level going down. That's just because I've recorded my car's CAN bus, but I haven't recorded it at the same rate that the car's outputted it. So occasionally the display doesn't think it's getting information. It's no biggie though. Easy to fix. So here we have the lights being cycled. Now, as you can see, the symbols down here are changing in accordance with those lights. So right now the fog light's on, which means that the front fog light symbol is on. Now, other things will change. We're doing the handbrake. You can see the handbrake symbol changes. Uh, what else? Here we are. Uh, the car's about to start going, start moving, and you can see the speed symbol, uh, or speed dial is moving up so three miles an hour whereas this one tells you it's five it's very inaccurate by comparison especially at lower speeds so this is pretty excellent how well it's representing the information here we have rpms going up which means the speed is going to be going up as i rev the engine there we go i'm currently reversing out of a spot in this recording i believe and i now must be going forwards yeah, so uh, you can see another glitch in the data, but, you know, it's, it's sufficient for what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, yeah, indicators going, and you should have seen the little indicator symbol up here flashing. There we go, you can see it flashes in time, it's all synchronized. And it's great, because both are being fed data off of an SD card, which is a recording of my drive, and it's all coming through quite nicely. Now... This is a bit more off than it should be just because the dial isn't on perfectly, but it isn't as precise as the digital display is. Anyway, there you go, the RPM's all working quite well. The RPM dial's fairly spot on with the um, digital display. I've still got to work on some other information such as retrieving the miles and the uh, tachometer. <laughs> it's all a bit balanced right now, and uh, I haven't quite got the... Um, economy mileage stuff done yet but it's all in the works and uh, I'm pretty chuffed at where I am so far so thank you for watching